Hi guys, it's Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life and I'm in my dining room and I'm back to decorating and organizing instead of just cleaning and decluttering. So I thought I would, um, when I did my house clean, I forgot to show you my tablescape. So I just am doing a simple tablescape um, for the rest of the summer and whenever I'm not decorating 4th of July or anything like that. So um, I posted a picture on Instagram of this new runner that I got. I actually got it for spring. I really like it. It's from World Market. Um, but I ended up using a burlap runner instead for Easter. So I put away all of my Easter stuff and I just simplified it and I kept a few things. I had these and I kept that out and I don't know, I just like this pop of orange color. And um, this bird cage, I still need to paint white like this other one over here. I painted, I got these at Michael's. Um, I did a haul a while back ago and, and I painted them and rub them off. Um, I think I did a video on that too. And so I still need to paint that other one. So I got these rounds from Target and I had used those in my um, Easter um, tablescape too. And I have the same um, bouquet of flowers over there. And this little um, milk glass I got from the Goodwill last year or something I don't remember and the little bird inside there is from Michaels it was in the boho section and I and I have these two candlesticks that I got from Goodwill and I got this from Goodwill I haven't decided what I'm going to put put in there so that's just what that um tablescape looks like yeah I think it looks kind of nice and simple I'm not going to set out dishes or anything like that I'm not planning on having anyone over. I had thought about doing a Father's Day um, breakfast, but I just don't know if that's going to work out because we're going on a trip and um, I don't know if I have time, enough time to plan, but that would be nice. And, and then I would set up a buffet here and we would do a breakfast. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. But anyway, so I'm going to organize the hutch. I had not thought that I need to organize this because um, it was pretty organized but and I didn't clean this out in 30 bags in 30 days because I had cleaned it out a long time ago and just, there's just nothing that I want to get rid of so um but I was watching some videos and up pop Kamari even though I believe believe in Kamari they, they do should have some helpful hints and stuff and um one of the things I, of course you know how to fold the um, Kamari method where you fold vertical, which I, by the way, have learned a long time ago from Alejandra TV. That's how I learned to fold vertical like that. So they were doing a linen closet or something, or some drawers. Yeah, they were doing their linens, and I'm like, oh, I never thought to do that like that. So look at these drawers. So. I have all of my um, linens, my table linens in here, but they're all piled up like that. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I just thought I would refold them and do it the Kamari way so that it just looks a little neater. And these are all, you know, and I might need to sort them a little bit. So all the same holidays, these are all my white ones. Um, not sure if I'm going to redo those. So mostly it's it's done that's just a cranberry dish from my grandmother so yeah um and of course the table the um well that was silverware see i have no place to put this table runner because i don't want to fold it up so i have that on top of here and i just have some napkins on top of there i think that's probably the best place for that so i'm going to put the camera on on the tripod i guess and um oh i guess i need to show you these other drawers and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to um, redo all this. So there's just some napkins in there. And there's a whole ton of napkins in here. So that needs to be all sorted and folded better. And I have some decorations in here. And I don't know why I have these in here. Why I didn't pack them away with the fall stuff. I do not know. I guess because they're really nice and I didn't want them to get ruined up in the attic and then I started see I started folding them here this is Christmas and um 
I would like to dedicate one drawer for Christmas, one drawer for um, uh, fall, and one drawer for just regular. So let me get started on folding these and uh, fixing them better. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to fold these napkins. I think I'll put these ones aside because they're not really fall. I can use them for anything because they're neutral. But these are definitely like fall colors, although I did use them for Easter. But um, see how wrinkled they are? But you know what? Every time I use them, I, um, I uh, wash them and iron them if need be. Um, so I'm not going to do them now because they're just going to be, you know, I want them fresh for when I use them. So I'm just going to pile them up here and they're not actually going to fit in the drawer the way I want them to. I don't know how else to fold them though. So I'm trying to fold them like this. So that's those. And then... And there's these napkins, so they're not, it's going to bug me because they're not going to be all the same size. And I kind of want them all to be the same size. So, maybe I should roll them like I do my dish towels. I don't know if that's going to work. So, and then these over here are already got the, um, napkin rings on them. I don't know whether I want to leave them like that or not. I think maybe I do. But I don't feel like um, undoing them. <laughs> so I'm still trying to figure this out. So yeah. So um, let's see. Let me show you. So like these are oh, white. These I'm going to try to put in the drawer. Alright, so sometimes you have to fold them for the size of the drawer, but so I want, see how this, there's a little bit of space over here. I don't know if you could see that. Let me get in the drawer a little more. There's some space over here, and I don't like that it doesn't fill up all that space, but um, I'm not sure how else to do this. So, I'm just gonna go, I might have to do trial and error with that. So, and then I have these. Um, yeah. And maybe I could pile these up. Hmm. Not really working. <laughs> 
sometimes it just doesn't work. And so I put some of the, um, I put the extra napkin rings up here. I might want to put my neutral napkins here, even though there's no way I'm going to be able to fold them that way because you see how deep this is. Not very deep at all. It's about the barely any deeper than the napkin rings. So um, that's the problem. Beautiful and nice hutch, but the drawers don't really hold a whole lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep playing with it and um, come back to you and show you what I got. rearranged these down the bottom I had them from back to front and I don't know why I didn't think because to do it side to side because that's how I do my shorts like that in my in my dresser so because you couldn't see this was way in the back and I couldn't see them so now I can see all of them and they're a little snug I could probably fold them a little tighter but um it is what it is and then of course I still have those in there so maybe I'll find another place with this Maybe I'll put it in the attic. I don't know. Um, I might put it in here. But there's really not any room. I cleaned that out the other... Um, a couple months ago. So there's really not any room in there. Maybe if I rearrange things. Um, I could. But I don't think I'm going to do that this time. So. Um, and I could do this better. Like I should do side to side. Oops. Sorry guys, but I'm just going to leave it like that and then all of my um, all of my extra napkin rings are here and then these are my, I don't know what you call it, multi-use napkins that can go with any um, season. These, this is mostly fall, so I have all the fall stuff on this side. So on this side I'm going to do Christmas and the white linens. So with these napkins, I'm not going to fold them individually. I don't, and I have four of these. I don't know why I have four of these and only two of the other ones. So I'm just going to um, fold them to all together like that. And they don't have to be perfect because, like I said, most likely what happens is, you know, they've been in there for um, a year. So I'm going to want to wash them and whatnot and iron them or whatever when I get them out so I'm folding them so they they fit in the drawer I got the little tags out I don't think I have that folded right so I'm almost basically rolling them because the way that dr the drawer is made see now that's longer this must be just different sizes napkins or something. That's alright. I'm not going to be that picky about it. Alright, so I still have room here. Those fit nicely. And then this drawer is empty. And then that drawer is this. This is the round tablecloth. I don't know if I'll remember that. I probably should tag it. And then these are the rectangular tablecloths. And there's really nothing there's really nothing in this top drawer up here. 
just this cranberry set. And um, I don't know what that is. Hardware for the inside of the china cabinet. Not sure. Probably should get rid of that. So that's that. And again, this drawer has, maybe I could take the napkins out of there and put them in here. This, I have nowhere else to put this because I don't want to fold that up. I want it to be flat because um, that's nice. I don't want it to get folded a gazillion times and it's too long this way to fit in the drawer. So that's just going to go there. Um, so Alright, so I'm going to hmm. I guess I'm going to roll these. I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to put them like this. This way. But, um, vertical so that I can see them instead of, yeah. I'm just going to roll them. And there's just no way that they're going to fit up and down. This drawer is too narrow. So these are my two, um, neutral um, napkins and um, napkin rings. So that's it guys. That's pretty good. Now I would probably eventually redo this. I don't know. I'm not sure how I want that because uh, yeah. I probably need to empty out this drawer in order for it to do that and I just don't feel like doing that today so that's good enough. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's it guys, and um, so hopefully I can get back to organizing, and no more decluttering, and uh, yeah, so this is the other side of the table here, and this, in case you didn't see it, I have done a previous video where I did my um, gallery wall, so this is the gallery wall right here, and you're able to see really well in here, because I got some lighting, yes I did. I got some light, a lighting kit, so it is like 10 o'clock at night, and otherwise it would be really dark in here, because again, I've mentioned this before, but we do not have a chandelier in here because the dining room is supposed to be in the front room over there, and that's where the chandelier is, but there's no way this dining room set is huge. It would not fit in there, so this is what we opted to do. Hopefully, um, cross my fingers that maybe I can convince my husband to put a chandelier up in the ceiling before Thanksgiving because we have 30 people coming to dinner. So yeah, so that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy your day.